Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Valorant error code VAL5 that the game has lost connection. Please relaunch the client to restore connectivity. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to close out of the Valorant game client and then attempt to relaunch it. If you're still having a problem, something else I'd recommend trying would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt, go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached at the forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W I N S O C K space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. You want to go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And then attempt to launch your game and see if you're still having a problem. Something else we can take a look into as well, if you want to open up a web browser. We're going to be checking out the server status for Valorant. So go ahead and copy the link I'm going to have in the description of the video here, guys. You may have to select a different region as well as language, depending on your local settings. And you would select Continue. If there were any current issues or events to report, they would appear down here. You may need to check back on this page a few minutes later. It may take a little bit of time to update here. So there's certainly a possibility that there is a server-related issue, in which case there's nothing you can really do but just wait it out. And it could take anywhere from a few minutes to a couple hours in most cases for most of these type of issues. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.